Today we're tackling one of the easiest but most rewarding chores here on the farm this spring. Um, we're dealing with our pond. You saw this pond in the last video. This is a small half acre, less than half an acre pond uh, tucked away in the woods. We can't see it from our yard or driveway or anything so you have to come back here to enjoy it. But um, our dog loves playing in it. Uh, the kids love trying to fish in it. Um, so we're charged with taking care of it. Um, you can see right now it doesn't look bad at all. It's got a nice dark color to it And that's because last uh, fall or the end of last summer we dabbled with a, a pond dye for the first time I saw it on the shelf at our local tractor supply I didn't buy it right then and there But I, I went home and, and did a bunch of research on them and see if I'm hurting anything or helping anything uh, And what I found is the two main benefits are it looks nicer This used to be well, when it's dry in the summer and it's drought um, it's a little shallower than it is now, but it used to be clear. It's spring fed, so you could see the bottom and you could see the weeds building up, and it didn't look that that great. But here, just the aesthetic, you can kind of give the illusion that it's deeper than it is. It is about five, six foot deep in the middle, so it's got some depth to it, but around the edges, and especially that far edge with the, the cattails there, um, it's not very deep. So our besides the aesthetic, making it look nice, this pond dye, um, reduces the amount of sunlight that can get down to the bottom and, and feed those weeds in the, the spring and the summer. Um, we're in the woods, so this only gets filtered sunlight, um, but still it's enough to, to easily be overtaken with weeds. And eventually we like to cut down on the number of cattails in the back there, but I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work out. So I'll show you what we got. Like I said, Tractor Supply, this is what our local store sells. It's a uh, midnight blue lake and pond colorant. If you look at the website, it'll say this lasts four to six weeks. And like I said, I think we, we did this at the, the the beginning of last September. So it's been nine months now. It's it's April now. So well, six, it's been six months, about. And it still looks great. It's a lot darker than it was. Like I said, it was relatively clear. And that, when it rained a lot, you get that murky pond color. But um, here, it looks good and we're gonna keep it looking good. So that drone footage in the intro here was earlier this morning and before we re-dyed it. So that's six month old dye at that point. And like I said, it still holds uh, holds the color and I think it looks good. Uh, this was about 44, $45. So not a big investment. Um, and and this is one gallon and it, so something like this probably could treat our little pond uh, four or five, six times, depending on how much we wanted to dump in. I forgot to grab a pair of gloves from the house, but uh, so I think I'm gonna try without it. It is a windy day, but I'm I can walk around the whole pond, and I'm not. Hopefully, it won't fall in and not make too much of a mess. But this does st stain your fingers and whatever it gets on, it'll stain. So just be careful if you're trying it on your own. I recommend gloves. Um, like I said, the highest and best use of this pond for us right now is is our dog. He loves swimming in it. Um, we've got the brook, but that's a a different animal. This is deep enough for him to swim, enjoy, chase a tennis ball. Um, so we, we like taking care of it. It's, it's basically a food grade dye from what I can tell. So it's safe for the, all the animals and fish and whatnot, frogs that live in there. Um, but we, we still try to keep the dog out of there for a day. We don't wanna dye his white fur blue. So yeah, I'm just gonna go around the edges and, and start dumping it in. disperse out and tomorrow at this time or even tomorrow morning you won't even tell that it's died you'll just see that it's a darker pond if this experience is anything like last fall you're not gonna be able to see this log anymore you'll be able to see the the very shallow portion up top there but most of this log will be underneath the die and uh, our goal will be accomplished to, to reduce the amount of sunlight that, that gets to the bottom um, and drives that algae growth and, and weed growth like I said, this hasn't been a long-term test, but the uh, the aesthetic part of it um, happens right off. You see, I got some blue on my hand there. Looks like that's the extent of the damage. So that'll be there for a couple days. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. 
All right, if you want to stay tuned for updates on the pond, please consider subscribing or liking this video. It goes a long way. But uh, I brought you to the other side here to talk a little bit about utility. Um, obviously, this is a man-made pond. Uh, you can see the dam there where we were standing in the overflow pipe. Uh, I didn't build it, but it was built by somebody who understands the benefit and utility of having stored water like this to sustain life, uh, to, stay, to keep animals, attract wildlife. Uh, we really only use it for that third purpose right now, attracting wildlife and, and kind of our enjoyment. But uh, if it were to come to that someday, if our animals needed it or if we needed it, I think we'd be really glad to have it. So we're just enjoying upkeeping it at this point. Uh, we'll continue to clear some more trees around it uh, before it gets completely swallowed in and uh, we'll just keep after it. If you, you've got your own pond, you're trying out the dye. Oh, my dog just jumped in there. I told you we tried to keep him out. It's been about 20 minutes since we put the dye in. I'll report back on how that works out. But anyways, I was saying, yeah, if you've got a pond, you keep it dyed, or if you don't keep it dyed, let me know why. I'm interested to hear down in the comments. Um, and stay tuned for updates. We'll, we'll be sure to keep you updated on how this works out as we continue to clear a little bit around it, just make it nicer down here, and, and keep it from getting completely swallowed in. So take care, guys. Enjoy your Easter, and we'll talk to you later.